Hello, good day. This is a review of one unusual lens, Gizmon, WTU lens. W stays for wide. This is a Leica thread mount 70mm f16 lens. So let's take a look. This is a box that the lens is shipped. And if we open in this little bag, there is a lens. This is the lens itself. It is very, very light, plastic made lens. It is made of two elements from Fuji Quick Snap point and shoot single use. So it is very, very unusual lens. Beside the lens, you get also one some user menu also Japanese some little tool Allen key and this lens is marketed as a mirrorless lens so I also got it with with the next E adapter to get different options with adapters but you can use it without any problem actually on the LTM Leica. So if we take 1F, and you can screw it directly on the Leica. Of course, 17 millimeter wide, this is no good. So what I got is this. It's a Holga fisheye viewfinder. This is not a fisheye lens. This is a 70 millimeter wide, but finder 70 millimeter original, it costs way, way much. And this lens was really, really cheap, like 50, 60 euros or something like that. And Really, I can recommend this uh, for somebody that is not that is not using a wide lens so often. This can be really fun. If you are a wide angle wide angle shooter, then this is not a good because the quality. Those are two elements, plastic elements, so from a Fuji Quick Snap single point and shoot. But f16, yeah, I can really recommend this lens. Of course, if you now Google it, you will find Gizmon WTU lens and you can see some examples. But as I'm making a short review, I would like to show you the example that I made. So you can scan and then you can see is it good or not. But for me, it is very important. Can you print it? So usually I test what is the print 30 with 40 centimeter. How does it look like? Here it is how it looks like. So this is a big print, but for me this is a standard standard size print, 30 with 40 centimeters. So if you take a look, central part of the image is very sharp, it's really nice. On the edge you have really unsharp. So maybe like this you can get a closer look. There is a, some reflections as usual, but and here is the edge. But you can definitely get a printable result. So this is a 30 with 40 centimeter paper. And this is a really nice scene without much contrast. Here is another where I printed. This is a high contrast scene. So this is how it looks on the high contrast. It's also good. It is printable result, fun. Of course, you cannot expect the sharpness that you will get from Leica or Voigtlander lenses, but for 50, 60 euros, really, I can, I can highly, highly recommend this unusual lens. Usually, you don't hear this a Leica lens. I got this info from one guy, Hass, on the Analog Photography User Group, ebook. You can find there lots of good information. I can also recommend this channel. So, Gizmon, recommend it. Thank you and bye-bye.